today I want to talk about um, my uh, updated morning skincare routine because um, the one that's up there from sometime last year is like just about completely outdated. Um, obviously I do other things during um, the month and week. Um, I think I have up something like caring for your skin through the month or something like that. I also have an eye care um, video, um, but that's slightly outdated too, but not totally, like not drastically so. And um, I'm planning eventually to do a nighttime skin routine too. And then I guess eventually, you know, I'll talk about, about what masks and stuff I use during the month and the week um, because that's slightly changed. Well, it's just new masks, basically, so maybe I'll do that eventually. But today, I am focusing on my um, daily skincare routine. So, my morning or daytime skincare routine. So, my days are maybe a little different from women who work outside the home. Um, I work in and from home. Um, so, in the home and from the home. <laughs> um, the stuff that's from the home isn't actually sort of paid to work all the time. Never. <laughs> but that's, you know, what I do. So, my routine is that I get up about 5.30 every morning, sometimes earlier if I can't sleep. Um, but I don't like to shower until everyone's left the house and I'm done with all my sort of organizational things for the day my daily sort of routines. Um, that's a different sort of video, I guess. <laughs> so the fact is that I never get around to actually showering to leave the house or to look good for the day until about 9.30, 10 o'clock, um, really. So on those days, when I get up in the morning, I live, I don't know how many times I've said this, but I live in Colorado. In the winter, it is particularly dry. I live a mile above sea level. This is an arid desert climate, um, alpine desert climate, so it's very, very dry. We not only have altitude, but we also have very, very dry air, um, very little moisture, very little rainfall and, or any precipitation at all. Um, and of course, uh, during the winter when it's cold, I also have the central heating going all the time. So I have very, very adverse conditions for trying to keep skin moisturized. Um, so when I wake up in the morning, we leave a little humidifier going all night um, in our bedroom, but when I wake up in the morning, the first thing is that my lips are always really, really, really dry. Um, no matter what I do at night. I mean, I apply all sorts of stuff at night. Um, but so the first thing I put on in the morning is my Jouer conditioning um, lip treatment. Which I got in a birch box sample. I think it was my first ever birch box. Um, and I just totally, totally, totally love it. I feel like it really um, helps my lips. It's supposed to plump them up a little too. I don't know. I can't remember how thin my lips used to be. <laughs> but um, yeah. So I apply that first thing in the morning. And also first thing in the morning when I get up, like before, as I put on my bathrobe and sort of get ready to go downstairs and make my coffee and have my breakfast, is um, the Passport to Organics Intensive Eye Cream um, Caffeine for all skin types, uh, Colombian Organic Coffee, Japanese Green and White Tea. That's the one. And I put that, and I've already done that, so I'm not going to do it now. I put just a few dots around here. This is from, you know, buying everything that Lisa Eldridge says and really thinking that caffeine is going to help puffiness and bags under my eyes caused by too much caffeine and wine consumption and probably bad sleeping habits um, or poor sleeping habits. On days when... Um, I actually do have to get up and shower and get out of the house quickly. 
there are days then that happens. Um, I don't do that. Um, I go straight in the shower and when I, as soon as I get out of the shower I use the Garnier Renew Skin Renew um, Anti-Dark Circle Roller and uh, I put that right under my eyes just as I get out of the shower, pat it in and then do all my other stuff before I you know, finish my skincare. Then um, when I do get around to showering at 9.30 or so, 9, 9.30 usually, depending on if I've exercised. If I've exercised it can be as little as t late as 10.30. <sighs> I go in the shower and in the shower I keep my Ulla Henriksen um, Dry Sensitive Skin Apricot Cleansing Lotion which is a rich and creamy cleanser that comforts the complexion. Um, I slather that on my face and then I use it with the Clarisonic Mia. And that sort of times out after a minute. I am currently using the normal brush head, but I really think I want to try to start using the sensitive skin one. I do have some issues with sensitive skin. Um, Then, um, before I dry my hair and stuff, I use the SkinCeuticals Floritin CF. It's a broad range antioxidant treatment with um, Floritin, l acid, basically vitamin C, and ferulic acid. Um, I'll tell you what it's supposed to do. It contains a highly potent and unique molecular combination of optimized to protect the spectrum of cell types by shielding their DNA from environmental attack in the deeper layers of the epidermis. The broad range power of Floritin CF also boosts the skin's structure by supporting collagen and elastin levels on the inside, transforming the skin to a firmer, more radiant, visibly younger looking complexion on the outside. Yeah. So the instructions are to use four or five drops and it comes um, with the dropper like that. So one, two, three, four, five. I put them sort of on those fingertips, rub them lightly together and then put that on my face. If I put that closer, can you see? Yeah, awesome. Okay. I'm working on how to do beauty videos in a different way, so um, yeah, I'm hoping that maybe sort of works. Let me just do this too because I sort of want to see on the resulting video how it looks with it lower down. Okay, so this, oh, there went like half my serum, well not half, just a tiny bit. Note to self, bring tissues down. <laughs> okay. And um, I have a cold sore, yes, I know, it's almost gone, thank goodness. Um, and also, um, I put on Kate Somerville's um, Quench. That's very shiny, isn't it? Um, if you can see that. Kate Somerville, and it's called Quench. And it is, I'll tell you what it is as I, after I put it on because it's one drop and it's an oil-based moisturizer which was recommended to me by my last facial person which reminds me I want to schedule a facial. Um, maybe. I don't know. Maybe not. Okay, there we go. I definitely need to bring tissues down. Okay. Um, this is a hydrating face serum, a serum hydratant pour la visage, um, AM and PM. Um, this isn't yet in my EM, PM skin routine. Um, apply one pump daily to cleanse face and neck. A little goes a long way and it really does. Massage into skin and leave on. Um, allow quench hydrating face serum to absorb into skin and then follow with your daily moisturizer and SPF. So that's why I sort of waited until after I'd put it on to read the description because I'm now waiting for this to absorb into my skin. Normally what I do um, while waiting for that to happen 
is I'll go around and dry my hair. I've sort of already done that today. Um, and uh, oh, totally lost my train of thought. Uh, dry my hair or whatever, put my clothes on, and um, then I continue after that. Right now, I'm just going to let it sit in for a little bit. Um, I have to stop looking at that stupid viewfinder. Um, and um, I wanted to talk a little bit while I was waiting for that to happen about how you guys feel about um, um, matching a whole range of skincare products. Um, and only sticking, you know, to one for the rest of your lifetime. I have been using SkinCeuticals for my serums and oil-based stuff for a long time, along with MD formulations. Um, and uh, I've recently been branching out, um, as you'll see, into Chanel and the Ulle Henriksen instead of the MD formulations um, cleanser. Um, and the Kate Summerfield, which was recommended to me rather than the SkinCeuticals um, hydrating sort of oil. I do prefer this over my SkinCeuticals B5 hydrating oil complex. I think this is fabulous. It feels so silky going on. It feels totally, totally moisturizing. I really, really, really enjoy it. Um, really like this. And um, especially for some skin that's very much parched, um, like mine. Um, but, you know, I don't like to mix, you know, the serum and the, the hydrating sort of serum. Um, I'm not sure if I should be mixing the brands. I don't think there's anything really wrong with it, although I do think that their ranges tend to be designed to work together. But the thing is, I don't really want to, I don't know about you, but I don't really want to um, limit myself to just one um, brand. I like exploring new, new products and new things, and I think there are lots of ways to, um, and there, there are lots of great skincare products out there. And if I decide to commit to just like Chanel or just Kate Somerville, then, or just Ulla Henriksen for that matter, then um, I miss out on trying those new things and I miss out on the luxuriousness of, of testing new products and, and trying new formulations and things and seeing what works and what feels good and what smells good and, and all that stuff. So I think I'm not going to be just sticking to either Chanel or Ulla Henrix in the rest of my life. That's just all there is to it. Um, okay, so that feels pretty good in my skin now. Um, and then when I'm ready to, um, you know, I've done my hair or whatever, or, yeah, um, maybe I'm going to be putting on my makeup. Then I continue um, with the Ultra Correction Line Repair. Uh, by Chanel. This is the eye anti-wrinkle eye cream. I have, let that refocus, I have fine lines that have been developing around here and here and these nasty ones here I'd like to get rid of permanently but um, they are the eye ones in particular are really starting to reduce, I think, with the use of this. I have another nighttime thing that I use also. This is only, I only use this in daytime. I use a tiny little drop and then I put it around and pat it in with my ring finger so that I don't stretch and stress the skin around my eyes. That'll absorb into, you know, your whole eyelid and stuff. So, and then um, before using any um, foundation or any um, primer or anything like that, I use the Chanel Ultra Correction Line Repair Day, tr day Cream. And that is a recent acquisition. You can see I've only used 
like that much. Um, I use maybe that much on my finger. I really shouldn't put my finger directly in there. It comes with a little spatula. The reason it comes with a little spatula that you're supposed to use to scoop it out instead of your finger is that you're supposed to avoid getting oil from your fingers into the product to, you know, maybe break it down. Um, and work that nicely into my skin and my neck. Super silky, super smooth, super lovely. That's my everyday skin routine. That's it. It took a long time now, but you know it doesn't take me more than like two seconds when I'm not yabbering on about it. So I um, hope you enjoyed that. Um, I feel like the way I abused my skin when I was younger, tons of sun worship, like tons and tons and tons. Um, my family has, you know, um, a great uh, history of getting these, I will zoom in a little. Uh, broken sort of uh, broken blood vessels around thin parts of the skin and I have those I'm um, not sure what I can do about them now but you can you can see them underneath my skin here really um, not sure what I can do about those now but you know what you can do <laughs> um, and yeah, uh, it's probably why I like wearing foundation just about all the time, um, really. Okay, so that's my morning skincare routine. Um, hope you enjoyed it, and I will talk to you soon. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for liking my videos, and thank you for all your comments. I love comments. Okay, bye!